Hello children. In the previous video, I told you about Rachel Carson who created awareness among people about the adverse and harmful effects of using pesticides. As pesticides are harmful to humans as well as our environment. So, now let us start learning a new lesson in English Literature course book. Unit 2, Section 1. The name of the lesson is A True Story About Ladybugs. Children, before I start with the new lesson, I would want to ask you a few questions. The first, how many of you like gardening? Wouldn't it be fun if you grow your favorite vegetable in your garden? Is it good to include vegetables in your diet? Have you heard about some problems which gardeners have to face sometimes? Have you heard about garden pests or bugs? Can you name a few garden bugs? Children, now you might have thought the answers in your mind. So now, let's begin with the lesson. A true story about ladybugs. What would you do if you would or if you would come to know that there are some pests, some garden pests which are harming your plants? In this lesson, there is a grandmother who dealt with a situation and that situation was a few garden pests were harming her plants. Children, now let's see how a special grandmother dealt with a situation and that situation was some pests had come into her garden and were eating her plants. So, page number 30, paragraph 1, let's begin. There was once a grandmother who liked asparagus. Asparagus is a plant which has green or white stems and can be eaten as a vegetable. She really loved it. It may seem quite foolish, but she really loved to eat asparagus. She wanted lots and lots of it for breakfast with eggs, toast with cheese for lunch, with special lemon sauce on it at dinner time. Now, as asparagus is very costly, she thought of planting asparagus plants in her garden so she can have it as much as she wanted. But when we have to plant asparagus, we have to wait for it to ripen to harvest for nearly two years. So the third year, the young shoots can be eaten as vegetable. So we have to wait to let it grow and get strong for two years so that we can cut any of the green shoots a new or young part of the plant. It's called as a shoot. So the grandmother waited eagerly, which means impatiently, for two years for her asparagus plants to harvest, which means to ripen. The third year, when it was time for the asparagus plants to harvest, to ripen, so that these young shoots can be eaten as vegetable, grandmother found out that some asparagus beetles were all over the new shoots eating the surfaces of the stems. These insects, you can call them as pests, had green wings covered with black spots. Their little eggs pointed out from the stems, that is the main part of the plant. Soon, these eggs hatched and black larvae moved slowly all over the new shoots, eating the surfaces of the stems. 
they were also eating every tasty little shoot. Now the grandmother got very angry, frustrated. She had already waited for the two years for it to ripen so that she can consume it as a vegetable. But now she was facing this unpleasant surprise and that was some asparagus beetles also came up at the same time when the young shoots came up. The grandmother did not believe in using pesticides to solve garden problems. She knew that somewhere in nature there might be a creature who would want to eat these beetles. She also contacted a friend in the organic farm. Organic farm is a place where vegetables and fruits are grown using natural materials without using chemical substances. So she did not believe in using pesticides. Pesticides uh, is a chemical substance that is used for killing insects that destroys plants and food crops. So grandmother did not believe in using pesticides. She wanted to use something natural in her garden. So she communicated, contacted a friend and he told her what she could plant in her garden to attract ladybugs into her garden. Her friend in the organic farm told her Ladybug might want to munch on these asparagus beetles as well as their eggs. This is the insect which would find asparagus beetles tasty. So he told her what she could plant in her garden to attract ladybugs come into her garden. So which are those plants now? Let's see which she planted to attract ladybugs into her garden. The plants are purple cosmos, yellow yarrow, parsley, dill and tansy. These are the plants which she planted in her garden to attract ladybugs come into her garden. And by the end of summer, there were many ladybugs visiting her garden. The ladybugs also ate the aphids, that is soft tiny insects, which were harming her roses, which were eating her roses, which were on the roses. They also ate the aphids. In autumn, autumn is a season when temperature begins to fall. In autumn, the last ladybug of the summer burrowed down and hid under the leaves to hibernate. Hibernate means to spend the winter in a state like deep sleep. So she was spending the time in a state of deep sleep so that she, the ladybug would be ready to wake up and eat the asparagus beetles again in the season of spring. Spring is a season when vegetation starts to grow. So she, she here is the beetle, asparagus beetle, the insect hibernated during autumn to spend the time in a state of deep sleep so that in the uh, season of spring she could wake up and eat the asparagus beetle eggs. Later, eventually, there were so few asparagus beetles that the grandmother got to eat all the asparagus as she wanted. And also she gave some to her grandchildren. So now in this paragraph, we could learn some of the plants which grandmother planted in her garden, which attracted ladybugs. And the last ladybug of the summer burrowed down and hid in the leaves to hibernate so that the bug would be ready to wake up and eat the asparagus beetle eggs in spring and it was a wise decision to have ladybugs into her garden because of which she could eat all the asparagus she wanted and she also gave 
some to her grandchildren. The next paragraph. Now, in the last paragraph, why are ladybugs called as beneficials is given. Ladybugs are a part of a group of insects called beneficials. They are called beneficials because they are helpful in our garden as they eat the pests which destroy our plants. And if we choose to use pesticides in our garden, we will probably kill the helpful bugs along with these pests and the pests would return faster than these helpers. So we should be careful in using the pesticides in our garden as they are harmful for plants. The best way to work with nature is to make these helpful beneficial insects feel like home and they will do the work for us. One such method is organic farming and also we can plant those plants which attract ladybugs or the beneficials come into our garden and also if we want to get rid of the pests we should plant those plants which attract beneficials into our garden. As pesticides kill both the pests and the beneficials, in the lesson we learned grandmother planted those plants which attracted beneficials into her garden. So grandmother got to eat all the asparagus she wanted.